Alright guys, we're back for part two. Sorry I gotta do this in two different videos. I hope you guys do watch both. But um This is probably the biggest lip I've ever had. I could do have a horseshoe going now. Uh, uh at least on camera. This is the biggest one I've had for the channel yet. But I had done this before where I put two different kinds of dips in to compare the two. Uh you gotta be careful when you do it. Um, because otherwise, if the flavors don't mix well, <coughs> it'll taste terrible. Like, uh, I've done, and normally going to two different brands is bad. Uh, I would do Grizzly and Kodiak like they're winter greens together that that that's fine copenhagen two different copenhagen flavors are similar to these two that's fine but what i always do is i'll do one on each side and all you did the long cut you know what happens you know you know you know your first rush of spit getting in there uh loosens it up pretty bad sometimes and then you'll get like you get nice tight packed on that both outsides it'll be loose so what I do is I take the loose end of both the, on the back side of both with my tongue flip it out and put it in the middle and then doing that creates a medium pack in the middle so it turns into a horseshoe so this way you get two individual flavors and then the fusion of both now I've done this with Stokers and Grizzly Wintergreen long cuts Done it with Kodiak and Grizzly Wintergreen Long Cut. I've done it with Grizzly Straight and Stoker Straight and Grizzly Straight and Copenhagen Straight. Obviously, the first time I've ever done it with Copenhagen Long Cut and Copenhagen Southern Run. But, doing that allows you to definitely get a feel for it because I can take my spit and keep it on one end. For like the whole time it's in my mouth. Put it in my tongue right before I spit it. Get the taste, spit it. Then get the other side, get the taste, spit it. Then get the middle, get the taste, spit it. And then I can tell how similar they are. Now, a lot of other people probably can't do that. Um, take some skill, I guess. Hold on. But, um,. Let's see here. Yep. There's a slight difference. And that slight difference between two. Or you go for all the people who can't do what I do with the spit. You can also just let your spit go along all of it. Put your tongue on one end for a little bit and spit. Put your tongue on the other end, spit, and then put it in the middle, spit. This way you try all three. And with this, that's what I actually had to do. To um, tell. But it's exactly like what I thought before. The Copenhagen Long Cut tastes pretty much the exact same as Copenhagen Straight. But the Copenhagen Long Cut, it's more, uh, it's a stronger flavor. It's more dominant than the Southern Blend. This means that for right now, because it's still freshly packed within the last six, seven minutes. Now it's probably been like ten minutes now, but I can still tell a difference. But since they're so similar. Well, even if they weren't really similar, eventually the two flavors will just fuse together and taste like one solid dip. But, for now, I can still tell the difference. Copenhagen Long Cut is a more dominant flavor of the Southern Blend. The Southern Blend is more mild. Both taste really good still. 
But yeah. That's my theory right now. Is that practically the same dip. What I'm thinking is the juices or whatever that they soak the tobacco in for the um, southern blend. They do the same thing with their long, their regular long cut. They just leave it in the regular long cut longer, soak more of it in there. But yeah, either way, both really good dips. Um, I mean. I don't. I mean, I, don't, I actually don't think I met a single person that didn't like Southern Blem, but I do know some people who don't like this one, which is weird. As I can tell you right now, it's the same two fucking flavors, just stronger in the more dominant long cut. Um. So yeah. Hmm. This is the only thing I don't like about Copenhagen, is that their consistency is really consistent. Like their long cuts, I even really like, honestly their long cuts more like fine cut to me. Other dips are fine cut. Their fine cuts really fine, but it's like so hard to keep together sometimes because it's shredded so well. Whereas other long cuts, it's like, you get longer strands, stays together better. And yeah, you use some that are cut shorter. Well, I, most of them are longer. These ones are all cut real small. And I wish I had my mud jug in here right now, because taking this out is going to be a mess. I have to get a paper towel out. But, anyway guys, yeah. There you go. Just proved it. Pick up both cans though. Try them both separately. Do what I did if you would like. Maybe not put as big of hoggers in as I did if you're not that big in dipping. But still really good. Actually flavor. I actually prefer dipping them together like this. It tastes really good. Maybe I'll do a video after this. Maybe I'll take this little box because it's get starting to fall apart real easily. Maybe I'll do a video next where I'm going to take a little bit of both, mix them together, and then put it in. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, there you guys go. Same shit exactly like I thought. Peace.